for Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, I'm Darren Parker. Joining me in studio today is CISA CEO Chris Campbell to discuss some of the key concerns facing the consulting engineers sector in South Africa. Hi Chris, welcome. Hi. Thanks, uh, Darren. Why is CISA pushing for quality cost-based selection? So, Darren, the reason why CISA is pushing for uh, quality cost-based selection, also known as QCBS, is that we believe that in our procurement efforts, especially in respect of the procurement of professional engineering services, that we have gravitated towards least cost and compromised the quality. We need to get back to the center where we can match the cost of the service with the quality of service that you hope to get. And if we are to develop infrastructure for the next 30, 40 to 50 years, then certainly we need to rethink the level of quality we put into the effort from the onset. Hmm. In 2020, what is CISA going to be doing to encourage quality cost-based selection? So. In 2020, and that's not saying that we haven't put any effort into it before, but certainly with 2020, we believe that we want to accelerate the drive to promote the thinking around implementation of quality and cost-based selection uh, in respect of professional um, consulting engineering services, specifically so that we can get away from the, the least cost uh, commoditized notion that's been adopted in procuring the services of professional engineering uh, service providers. So our campaign this year is to create more awareness within the public sector and also to help um, just the man in the street understand the value of using professional service providers and what they really do cost, where you may even want to compare that to the kind of value that we place as a society on the services of a medical doctor or uh, even a, a lawyer. Okay. Um, lastly, Chris, what in your view uh, is standing in the way of the implementation of the project pipeline in South Africa? Darren, sadly, the issues are the capacity. In many instances, the public sector, there's an entire shortage of technical capability to get out of the blocks in terms of the infrastructure delivery process. The need is there. Money is often allocated to various municipalities. But because you don't have the requisite capacity to get the process started, um, you just don't. And we certainly would like to drive more the need for that strong partnership between the private sector and the public sector in, in the recapacitation process, much as our President Ramaphosa has spoken about building the capable state. Building that capable state is going to require a concerted effort and a very strong political will for that public-private partnership. Great. Chris, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, that was CISA CEO Chris Campbell sharing some of the key concerns facing the consulting engineers sector in South Africa.